Hello friends, my name is Surinder Kabir and I'm here for a brief introduction of KC. How to use KC on your computer, how to install KC on your system so that you can use it uh, this library on your computer. It is very typical to install this KC because uh, for a beginner it's some basic you will face some difficulty in the beginning. So uh, I'll be helping you this to install KC on your computer. Uh, before going on KC I'll give you a brief introduction of KC. What basically KC is. So from the link above, you can see the link here. If you want, I'll uh, write the description. I'll write the link in the description below, and you can copy the link and you can just go to this page. You can uh, also type this link on your browser and click on this directly to to this page. Here, uh, you will get. This is the documentation of KC. Everything is available in in this documentation. You will be knowing everything about KC. Like uh, what KC is, what architecture is being used in KC, and what are the uh, factors in it. This is this is a very long concept. I will not be going into deep depth into KC. I'll be just giving a brief introduction and uh, how to install and I'll be showing you some some code, some part of the code of KC, how to use it. So I'll be running some code of KC and some functions and how to run and what are the results of some of the functions of KC. In this documentation, you can see what KC basically is. They have given a small section, small definition of KC. So KC is it's a free open source library for advanced natural language processing in Python. So it's an open source, it's a free library, and it's for advanced natural language processing. Uh, I, I don't know how much of you people have um, knowledge about natural language processing. So uh, natural language processing is a very different concept. It's it's a other concept and space is other concept. Space is a part of natural language processing. Uh, it's a library, it's not uh, natural language processing, it's a library to use natural language processing. What natural language processing is from the Wikipedia page, you can see that natural language processing is a field of computer science, artificial intelligence, concerned with the interaction between computers and human language, and particular concern with programming computers to, to fully process large natural language data. So According to this definition, it's not so clear, but I'll make it simple. Like uh, natural language processing is a is a tool, it's a, a library in which you can feed your data, and data are which we humans tweet or speak or anything we post on uh, on social media. The people collect the data and feed on the computer, and they give a result that like someone is tweeting something and they if the uh, companies want to get that if the people is angry or sad or how how someone will know that by your tweet that say the people is angry or sad or something. So uh, this is natural language processing that is uh, making the computer so intelligent, giving a computer so intelligent that we can predict the predict the uh, behavior of Know more about language, natural language processing. I'll be making a different video on everything on, on how what natural language processing, uh, what are the different libraries within natural language processing, uh, how natural language processing, how to get the data from the Twitter data or uh, how to get extract data from other uh, social networks and process to get the information from the particular group. That will be a different uh, video. Here I'll be talking more profoundly about SKC. So, what SKC is, I'll uh, give you the definition. Now I'll come to the installation of KC. So uh, in this KC, you you will be getting this installation. You can just click on this uh, installation and you, it will direct it will redirect you to the page of so after you redirect it to this page, this is the installation page of KC. So before installing KC, basically uh, you need to install an ID and the best ID for KC or anything you want to program in Python, I think it's Anaconda. You can install Anaconda for Python and you'll, you'll be getting everything from Anaconda, like the uh, some of the basic libraries in KC. You do not need to install for uh, like from out, you just will be getting from Anaconda. They have all the packages installed, already installed some of the packages, some basic packages like NumPy or like Pandas, you'll be getting uh, in Anaconda. So, uh, 
for Anaconda installation, you just need to type this link on your browser and, be, and it will redirect you to this page. Here you will be, uh, you'll be getting the uh, Python version. You can just download any one of them from here. Uh, if you have a 64 bit, you just need to click here. If you have 32 bit, you just need to. I'll, I'll suggest you to download 3.6 version for Spacey because uh, Spacey is, is very easy to use in uh, 3.6. Otherwise, 2.7 version, even you can use PC in 2.7 version. But uh, when you input the data, it will ask the code to be the data to be in Unicode. But in uh, 3.6 version, uh, the data is not required to be in 3. Point, uh, it, it to be in, in a Unicode form. It, it can be uh, it accepts every kind of data. You can just input the data in on a string form form and you can accept it here. So uh, I suggest you to download 3.6 version. Just go and click here. Will start downloading process from here. Yeah, I have already downloaded downloaded it, so I'll just cancel this. You will be yes, you can just after the download down the downloadation is completed, you can just go and uh, click here and it will show you to the to go to the folder or yes, you can go to the downloaded the, the, the downloaded folder portion where the downloaded part is in saved in the computer. So whatever you download. The downloaded folder is in the computer downloaded folder. I mean, you'll be getting this type of folder here. So just go and click right click or you can even double click on this kind of folder and then run as administrator. Just run, run as administrator. Yes, this apps integration. So yeah, here you can see you'll, you'll come, you'll get this type of And you can just click yes here, and the installation will start. The installation of Anaconda is quite takes so it can take some like uh, two, two, four, four to five minutes uh, for the installation process. You can just click next. I agree. Next, uh, yes, wherever you want to store, so you can just. I have already stored so. Uh, it is so it's not empty so you can just go do just just click do this next step and uh, it is it will install the anaconda i i'll show you here i'll just take it this file in water folder Now I'll press next. Click accept. You can just uh, it, you can just click on here. You can just select, select this one. It will add add uh, to the anaconda path. You have to select both of them. Both of them. Then install. Then install. And then start installation. Installation process. So uh, basically, I've already installed anaconda. So I'll just put this. <laughs> so okay, I'll wait for for the installation. Already installing here, so uh, basically I've installed already been installed in the system. So now what I, what you have to do is now you come here and uh, select whatever system you have. Like you have uh, Windows system, so you can just select here, select this. Yes, if you have Linux, you can select Linux. I have been I'm running my uh, Spacey on Windows, so I'll just select Windows. Whatever package manager, and package manager is something in which you get. This is package manager. Like you can uh, install packages from Conda. You can uh, select Conda, or you can select your uh, you download your packages from Pip. Using Pip, you can select this. I'll choose Pip, and uh, I have downloaded 3.x version of Python version. Now, now just we have downloaded a uh, 3.6 version. So I'll select here. I'll select the 3.6 uh, 3.x version, and the, in the configuration, if you're using Anaconda. Uh, for the first time, we are using Python for the first time, so you don't need to create a vir uh, uh, this virtual environment. Otherwise, you, if you want to create a virtual environment, you can you can create a virtual environment on Anaconda. Okay, and then you can uh, choose your language. Language is something like models it provide uh, different languages. You can uh, you can see from here you can you'll be getting uh, different languages like German, Spanish, Italian, French, many other languages are also available. You can 
they are improving day by day. Uh, I am studying English. So now what I am doing is choose English and open my um, command prompt. You can open the command prompt from um, tapping tapping uh, CMD in the search whatever those here. the command prompt now what I have to do is uh, yes after the installation of Anaconda okay after the inst installation of Anaconda you have to choose the same command not uh, before the installation uh, as manual so uh, Anaconda is always is, is slowly <laughs> it will take some time it's, it's a very uh, huge software so it will take some time and you just after the installation just you have to type this skip just follow this uh, command Installing your uh, CMD on your system computer. PC also is just uh, a very huge uh, library. It, uh, uh, it has many different packages and models, so it also take it also take some time to install. And uh, one of the part of uh, I will show is uh, when you come down uh, in this installation that uh, the command you can you will see something here. You if you have Visual Studio installed on your system is is good. Otherwise, you, you just uh, you, you have to install Visual Studio for installing PC because it, it requires it requires Visual Studio on your system. You can just go and right click on uh, your system on on this link and it will direct you to uh, download the Visual Studio. And uh, after you click on this link, you'll be redirected redirect to this Visual Studio Computer System 2013 uh, build tool. Basically, you have to install it if you have um, you can install any one of these. You can install this down, download Visual Studio 2013 and it will uh, download the Visual Studio tool for uh, on your computer. So after you download this click on this uh, after i have already downloaded if you click on this you will you will uh, you will install the visual studio on your computer and then uh, when you type this pip install uh, minus two cc it will help you to download the cc library in your computer mind second So here I am. Uh, this this PC has been uh, installed already in my system, so you can see that requirement already up to date. 
you can see here uh, otherwise if you if you type pip install my command is stacy you will you will get everything for stacy it will take some time to install stacy is already it not to if the requirement is already fulfilled also it took uh, two to three minutes for me so uh, basically it will take 10 to 20 minutes in your system uh, it's a very huge uh, library after the installation of you need to install the uh, whole package okay so you need to install uh, what are the basic things you need to install before installing uh, stacy is first of all you need to install anaconda from here the control version then you should uh, download the uh, this c++ compiler we uh, use studio tool from here and then uh, later on you can uh, come and configure your system according to your system from here in this uh, documentation you can uh, you can configure your system and then you can just type this pip install on a common prompt and then just start installing the stacy in, in your system so this is the installation the installation is already done now you have to uh, install the module whatever module you, uh, you, you want like if you want uh, you can type this uh, on your on your system like Python minus m cc en is a module uh, present in case it provides everything uh, which is present in this en module en module is basically like it's an english module you can get a, you'll get you'll get everything present in english uh, you'll be you can download the english library from it it's basically a library uh, module or like uh, English library. Okay, even this will take some time. I have already uh, downloaded this, so I'll just cancel this. Uh, it, it will show me the same thing. Requirement already fulfilled. It will show after the download. Downloadation is complete. Okay. Uh, started the download. Downloadation is 37.4 MB. It is the download uh, will start and after that will build the uh, EN module. You can see the EN module here. And after the uh, module is built now whether this uh, everything is up to date you want, if you want to check everything is what up to date you mm -hmm. search option and you can just type spider over here just click over here and it will take some time to open spider is basically the interface provided by anaconda to write python programs okay so uh, it will open like this it's, it will make an icon like this and it will, it will be uh, it will give you an interface like you can just open a new Page. Uh, you can just type a new here and you can get something you will be um, getting something like this okay you can write your first program here and you can run uh, by clicking this uh, button okay so you can you have to check if spaces probably installed or not you can just import spaces import spaces spaces and check whether spaces installed or not just press uh, on run button and uh, everything the answer will be shown in the right part of the of, uh, of the console here that it, this is the console of uh, spider here everything will be uh, shown whatever you run so you can just save uh, this uh, your program and just give your name of don't write uh, don't type the don't give the name spacey to this program because sometimes it get uh, a crash because of the same name so just put some other name like i'll put like uh, test uh, 25 okay it's uh, anything you can name but rather uh, just avoid using pc as the name of this program okay so i i name uh, test 25 it will start running and here you go everything is fine everything you have installed everything we have installed is working fine but it's, uh, it, it has not shown any type of error you can check by importing here also you can just in, uh, uh, type here into spc spc and just you can check here yes see here nothing um, no error is shown so space is installed and anything you can write here this is the interface for uh, python this is interface provided by anaconda okay thank you very much for watching my video on spacey uh, in the next video i'll show you how to use spacey and uh, i'll show you the some of the code and some of the functions of spacey so till then uh, thank you very much for watching my video uh, hope you enjoyed it